Welcome to MicroStation Update 17. Let's take a look at item types. Item types allow us to do a variety of different types of data reporting. So they allow us to report on elements inside of our drawing. We'll find item types underneath the attach ribbon as item types, ribbon group. Let's start by looking at the item types dialog and notice what we've changed for update 17. The first thing you'll notice here is that we have added a ability for you to control the display of the text when you place your item type. So since we're placing a property, that property is going to have a value, and that value is going to be displayed as text or not. You can turn the display of the text on or off. Once we get into the actual attachment of an item type, we can actually see this a little bit further. So this dialog box has changed substantially from the previous version. You'll notice, first of all, that you can now apply a text style very prominently here. You can choose which text style you'd like to use when you, when you place your text. If you have pre-selected items and multiple pre-selected items, then you can choose to edit the common properties of all those pre-selected items. In addition, you can see that you have the ability to select all of the item types to attach, or if you've done that, you can also clear that. So nice ways of managing the selection of which item type it is that you'd like to place. Once you've selected the item type that you'd like to place, this is a custom property I would like to attach. You'll notice again that the properties here are, are rather nicely listed out as compared to the previous version. So here you can very clearly see which property you're after. You can actually search for properties and you can see that default values are actually already placed in. Again, you can see that you have the choice of placing this with the display text turned on or off. And so now when I go ahead and attach my item type, I can go ahead and choose to place my text wherever I'd like. And there's my text with my item type. Last note, you'll notice that as a view attribute, um, you can control the display of this text. So there's item type text as a view attribute. So by turning that off, you can turn off the display of your item type text. And you'll also note that this item type text is a text field. So it is a property driven text element. I hope that helped. There's a lot of other interesting things that we'll look at for item types in other videos. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.